hard to believe that's actually just floating here. to you all especially you ship junkies out there and you ship watchers and ship lovers it's time for another video and today i'm back out on the water i'm here in port coburn uh, because of the ship here i've been wanting to see and the weather is fantastic so i managed to get on the lake uh, this is the uh, canada steamship lines csl welland uh, which is just moored up here she's empty so uh, i don't know when she's gonna go out but i just wanted to get the drone up over it if i can get some nice shots and get really close to this ship it's got that really really nice paint scheme uh, which you could probably see just over my shoulder if I just do that we'll get a close-up of that very shortly uh, that is to commemorate the uh, 2022 uh, Canada Games uh, which were held here in the Niagara region so uh, yeah so that is what that paint scheme is for and I think it looks pretty sharp I mean over the years they've done some really nice paint schemes on their ships um, so we'll get the drone up shortly but let's just go to the front of the ship and have a better look Just checking our draft there. What was that? 3.8 meters. So she's quite high up. The double anchor at the front. All right, let's get right close up to this one. It's hard to believe that's actually just floating here. You would have thought it'd be stuck on the ground. It's like there's, it, there's no movement to it whatsoever. Absolutely fascinating. Over the years, you can see all the marks which have been left by going in and out of the locks continuously. Uh, either the ones here in Welland, Montreal, or over the Susu locks in the top end. even see a little bit of a bow in the metal work here right here this one's just bowing in compared with the others keel so it's straight across 3.8 all the way across let's have a quick cheeky look at her backside shall we looks like she's taking on some fuel and maybe uh, some supplies ready for her next voyage and next to me is uh, Frontenac we got this the other day and they're actually doing some work on the boom at the moment some welding so she's here at the moment, but mainly we're here for the welling, but I might get a quick shot of her as well and add it into the video. So uh, let's moor up somewhere and let's get that drone up. This is MV CSL Welland, and she is a Seaway Max Trillium class gearless bulk carrier, which was also designed with a double hull to prevent spills in the event of an accident. She operates on the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Seaways, and she was built back in 2014. She has a gross tonnage of 22,597 tons. Her overall length is 225.5 meters with a breadth of 23.8 meters. Her draft in the seaway is 8.8 .8 meters and the vessel has five cargo holds. 
CSL Welland typically carries bulk cargo which includes commodities such as iron ore, coal, grain and other raw materials. The majestic mural that you can see is called The Runners. It was unveiled on the CSL Welland during the St. Lawrence opening back in 2022. The mural draws inspiration from Greek artistic traditions that depict sports. It's a colossal 16 by 14 meter painting located on the accommodation block as you can see here on the CS Welland. The artwork portrays four runners in motion, all striving together towards a common goal. The mural celebrates the spirit of the 2022 Canada Summer Games, which took place throughout the Niagara region back in August of 2022. CSL Welland is departing and it's time for me to go and chase it. Enjoy.
All right, there she goes off on, on another voyage out of Port Coburn. There's some very, very dark gray skies and possible thunderstorms down there. there you have it folks csl welland hope you enjoyed the video i'll be back very soon with another video make sure you like subscribe for more videos that will be coming soon my name is nigel also known as lake erie vlogger till next time take care